hello and welcome in this video i will talk about a concept called direct delivery before we see a system demo in d65 how it works i would like to explain the direct delivery concept in detail so what is direct delivery direct deliveries are deliveries which are sent directly from vendor to customer i will explain in detail say suppose there is an organization which is assume is our organization and then there is a customer who gives the order to us or the organization however due to some reason say suppose geographical constraint or geographical reason or say suppose due to unavailability of stock we right now cannot deliver or don't want to deliver directly from our warehouse or site to the customer instead we will take the order from customer then we will discuss this with our vendor who can deliver this product and then we will pass those order to vendor however this ownership of the order still will be with us okay and then we will and the vendor will directly deliver the shipment or delivery to the customer to our customer so that is all about the direct delivery direct delivery helps to reduce co reduce cost or inventory cost or it can you know mitigate with the unavailability of unavailability of items and all so this is all about direct delivery now i would like to show this in system how this works in dynamic 65 finance and operation let's see so now i am in dynamic 65 finance and operation we will see how this direct delivery works first i will go and create a sales order we will take the order from customer i will select a customer say fourth coffee india and i will select a site even though we are not delivering from our site but we need to select a site and i will click okay i will select some item say any item maybe quantity 11 when the price is done so once this is done i will also check the delivery address because this is our customer delivery address here even though we are taking the order that means as per the direct delivery process we will pass this order to our vendor and vendor will directly deliver to this delivery address i will show you in detail so now it's done i will just go and confirm the sales order is done now the important part is that we need to click on the sales order under sales order new we'll click on direct delivery and remember to do this process we don't need to do any setup okay we will just select this item if you want you can create multiple lines and say suppose there are five items and out of five items only two items you want to you know send this order to or go with the delivery process and four items you will still go with the normal delivery so that is also possible had it been multiple items we would have removed those from here or we should not uh, click include on so here i will select vendor say this vendor and make sure this transfer delivery address is mark is mark as yes from here also i can change unit price because as you we are taking this order but that does not mean we will show this margin or sales price to our vendor we will still send this order with the vendor price not the customer price which you have agreed with the customer 
so that is the part there is a margin we will have we will create the direct delivery order but we will take the order with the from the vendor so vendor will give us the same item with lower price as per the vendor price but as per the sales order price it will be sold to the customer i will show you in detail so now i will click on okay So now once this is done system will show that purchase order for this vendor account has been created so here is the important thing you need to learn that from the sales order as part of as part of the direct delivery process the purchase order has been created we can go to that purchase order here itself go to the general and click on purchase order it will redirect to the purchase order which has been created from the sales order and you see the same item with the same quantity and price it has been created as a purchase order from here we can do many things uh like say suppose i want to change the delivery delivery shipment date confirm delivery date say from here okay and this delivery if i change it from purchase order it will change it to the sales order delivery date as well, shipment date as well. I will show you after this, but before I uh, before I change that, I would like to also show you. So once this is this link has been created between sales order and purchase order, I can do many things. I can change the quantity from sales order. See ten quantity. Okay, if I do that, and I will go back to our purchase order. you will notice the purchase order quantity has been also changed that is a link has been created okay and one more important thing if it is a direct delivery delivery order you will notice the same thing is updated under the sales order line see this toggle has been created because it is just direct delivery order okay so now we will go back and go uh, you know work on the purchase order purchase order has been placed okay and then we'll go here in the purchase order and we'll confirm this one more very important thing you would like to uh, keep this in your mind that for the direct delivery order we cannot impose any workflow in the purchase order even if the purchase order workflow is working for your normal purchase order for the direct delivery order system will not allow you to submit into workflow that means anything has been created as a direct delivery purchase order from sales order that will be auto approved okay and now the confirmation has been done i will go and complete the product receipt process process gn process Okay, before that GRN process, maybe I would like to show you one thing. Say in header, you will notice this is the delivery address FCI. So as I mentioned, this is this has been linked with our sales order. So if I change the delivery order address from the header itself, okay, it will also change automatically in the purchase order header. So maybe I will change this to Port Coffee India. Saved it. Okay. And I will click on purchase order. If I go to header, and you will notice delivery delivery address has been changed. and also similarly this has been changed back to approved again we need to go and confirm the purchase order at the same time once this confirmation has been done you can send the purchase order confirmation to our vendor okay so i will also show you the purchase order confirmation let this be confirmed it is confirmed 
now you will notice if i print the purchase order this is very unlikely that normal purchase order the de delivery address is the organization address right because we are procuring or we are purchasing something from our vendor so vendor should deliver in our organization address or warehouse or <coughs> location right but here since this is a direct delivery the delivery address has been retrieved from the customer delivery address which we have updated in the sales order so see this is the delivery address fci delhi there is no or uh, delivery address for us so what vendor will do vendor will just pick up the order and we will directly send it to the customer okay so now what we will do we will go ahead and complete the product receipt here is also one important part which you need to make sure or uh, need to keep this in your mind that for this direct delivery process once the grn is done in the system system will assume that the packing slip functionality will also be done so if i complete the grn the packing slip will also be completed in the sales order that is the link the automation has been introduced or it is available in the dynamic switch of finance and operation so it is received now i will go to we can pack in sales order i will refresh see packing slip has been enabled if i go here and i will see the packing slip is already done okay till date whatever we have done or till now whatever we have done is has been there has been link if we confirm or if you change something in the sales order it will change the purchase order right the quantity and everything so now till now whatever we have done that has been mapped with the sales order and purchase order but from now once it is delivered the invoicing should not be done in automatic basis the vendor invoice we will account as per our you know price margin and all and the sales invoice we will generate from our system why because if i generate the invoice to the customer which we have we are dealing with they will get the invoice with the purchase price which we are procuring but that should not be the case because we are selling after you know uh, after taking the order for you know our company because the margin should be there we should not tell the customer that this is the purchase price the invoicing will be a separate process for but vendor for purchase invoice we will go ahead and do the invoicing like the normal process i will select invoice number and we'll click post it's wait so invoicing has been done the purchase order part is done now i will go to sales order i will generate the invoice as per my process let's complete it's wait so the sales order is invoiced if i if we want to see the invoice price it is in 4000 400000 right but if you go to your purchase order it will be a purchase value which as an organization we need to pay to the vendor and the sales price which customer will pay us see in the price if i go to invoice it is a 1 lakh or 192000 right 
so that is all about the direct delivery process as part of supply chain management hope you have learned something new right and let's wait for another videos like this thank you for watching bye for now